Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be using Terraform with KVM to create multiple virtual machines. They're going to be running Ubuntu server, and we're going to use one Terraform file and basically an array to just generate three virtual machines all in one shot. All right, so here we're going to run VersH list all. See that there are no VMs yet. So now we're going to edit. We're going to check our uh, main.tf file and we're going to turn numbers on just so it's a little bit easier to follow along. Now you see first here we have our provider defined. We're going to need that. And here we have a basically a list or a, an array of uh, host names, right? And we have to run two set to, to, to actually turn it into a list that can be used. Otherwise, it's going to be a tuple. So, anyways. Here's a resource we're going to define. Now, these are the volumes. And here we're using a for each list. And, and we're going to loop over that host list to create basically a volume for each of the three hosts that we're going to create. So th this is basically how the syntax looks for, for for each. It's basically a for loop that loops over each host. And now here we have a, a vert domain. That's our virtual machine that um, is called hosts and inside that we have another for each command it loops over the same host list and accesses each one with each dot key and so we specify uh, memory and cpu as being the same for each of these and here we have our network interface um, we're specifying our host bridge network and here we have our disk volume uh, basically the uh, volume id for the disk we want to use and for that we're going to reference the id of each of the the disks that we specified in the the disk or, or basically in the, the volume resource so um, we use each key to, to point to each of them and to uh, extract the ID for each one. Now below here we have a uh, graphics set to VNC and we also have our console defined. So we'll be able to connect with a console and with a, a VNC connection. So we'll show you that later too. So next, we're gonna go ahead and yeah, just list that out again, just to be sure. And now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the networks. So there's our host bridge. That's the <clears throat> that's the same network we referenced inside our main.tf file, inside our Terraform file. So now we're going to go ahead and run Terraform init to pull down the provider and to just basically to uh, prepare everything. So now we run Terraform plan. This shows us the plan, what it intends to apply, all the changes it's going to make. And we see here we have a few volumes defined, right? We have like volume volumes for host one, two, and three. So we have resources for each of those volumes. Now, if you scroll up here, you have the same thing for each uh, virtual machine or each domain. We have host one, two, and three. So you have all three of those here. And yeah, so six resources to add. So we're going to run Terraform Apply. And we see the same thing. It's telling us what it's going to do. So we can quick skim over it and make sure that's what we want. Then we say yes. And now it's going to start working. And I sped this part up by a lot. I think if, if I remember correctly, that took about 10 minutes to run for, for all of those together. But uh, yeah, I sped that up to be a few seconds. Now we run ver sh list dash dash all. And we see hosts one through three are all up and running. So now we can run versh dom uh, dom if list for host one, two, and three, and it will show us uh, which network the interface is connected to. We won't be able to uh, list the IP address that way though. So we can run netstat and ptl and view the ports that are in use, and we can see these three ports are in use for VNC. So if you connect to this host on each of those ports respectively, you will be connect be able to uh, you know connect to their respective uh, virtual machine. So each of our virtual machines basically listens on a different port. So that's one of them we were able to connect to <coughs> through VNC, and uh, we can also connect through the console. So right here, basically the same thing that we saw on VNC. We see a, a login, um, basically exactly. The same thing that we saw in VNC, we, we have that on the console. And we can from here we can look up the IP address. So run IPA, look up the, the IP address, copy it. Now we can exit out of this virtual machine console. And now we can try SSHing into the VM.
And there we go. We're now inside the VM. So exit out of that. And let, let's try connecting to the console for host two. And we're going to basically do the same thing for that host. So log right in there. Check the IP address. Copy it. Log out. And now we can go ahead and SSH in. Say yes to that. And that little bit about known hosts is just because I had another host using the same IP address. So it thinks it should have a different signature, a different cryptographic signature. Now we, we know that it's different and it's supposed to be. So we just say yes to that. It's, it's completely fine. All right, so from here, we're going to run Terraform again. We're going to say Terraform destroy. So we're going to show you how we can destroy all three of these, all three volumes and all three hosts all in one shot. So it's not just listing the VMs we're destroying, but also the volumes with them. So destroy all the infrastructure that we've defined in our, our Terraform file. Say yes, and it's, it deletes it a whole lot. I didn't speed that up. It actually deletes it a whole lot faster than it creates it. And um, that's about it. Destroy complete resources six destroyed and there we go so let's run vert list all and uh there we go no virtual machines running so go ahead and hit that like button and you're, you're going to want to hit that subscribe button because you don't want to miss out on all the great content we have coming up we'll also have a lot of great content we've already put out so you're going to want to go ahead ahead and look at that history of videos that we have and um, make sure you also hit the bell icon otherwise YouTube's not going to let you know when we do come out with a new video and again you're not, not going to want to miss some of the stuff we have coming up so yeah definitely subscribe hit the bell icon and more importantly leave a comment down below not just for me but for the next person who comes along and watches this video they'll see your comments and be that much more informed um, if you know something I don't know leave a comment down below. Any comments, questions, criticisms, whatever you want to say, we do want to hear it. So leave a comment down below. And um, as always, thanks for watching, and we will see you guys in the next video.